Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a side review on set number 75270 Obi-Wan's Hut. It comes with three minifigures and R2-D2, 200 pieces, and released in the year 2020 for 30 US dollars, which I think is a pretty nice price, especially for like some of the stuff you get. Like, as you can see here, it looks like you're getting a very rare hologram piece of Princess Leia. And it looks like a really cool thing, and you get a whole bunch of cool stuff with this. Now let's go on to the back of the box. This is the back of the box. I do like how it kind of shows everything, how it's got the hut open here, and then it's closed up over here. You got, like, Obi-Wan fighting, or Old Ben, I guess, fighting the Tusken Raider. You got Luke training and R2 like showing the uh, film of Princess Leia and then you got to show like the training area stuff that's just kept in the crate over there. I do think that looks really nice. Now then, let's get into the unboxing. Alright, let's open it up. I do like how it is a tape and not like the fingers. That's nice because it's just going to keep this box in much better condition when, you know, if you ever want to save the boxes, it does keep them in better condition. Turns out this trust big knife doesn't work so well. I think it was meant for like meats and stuff. Alright, but before I open it, let's give you guys a better view. Ah, I see one bag. So this one does come with instructions plus. I think I might use that to build this. Because I do like instructions plus. Unlike Luke's Land Speeder, which is the same price, you get about 59 more pieces and one more bag. This is one more thing. Now, let's get on to the set itself. This is the Obi-Wan Kenobi minifigure you get, or Old Ben, if you want to call him what Luke called him before he figured out his name was actually Obi-Wan Kenobi. I do love the serious amount of detail they've added into this torso. It is insane. You could see all like the creases, make it look old. It just looks absolutely stunning. And I think the belt looks great too. With the back, my only thing I don't like is the fact they didn't give him like any waist or leg printing. The only thing that really can make up for it is the amount of printing they gave him on his torso, which is just insane. He, of course, does come with a blue lightsaber, because as you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi, or in the movies, Old Ben, did have one. His face does look absolutely spectacular, especially with, like, the gray beard with, like, that little white all around the bottom part. It does look really cool, and he does have a second expression, I believe, or I guess not. I Maybe I was wrong with that one. Happens every now and then. Uh, his hairpiece is pretty nice though, especially with like that it's all gray and he's a very accurate character. Now then onto probably my favorite character of this entire set. You might have thought it was R2-D2, but you're incorrect. I've gotten way too many of them. It is this Tusken Raider. He is looking absolutely stunning. Probably the best character in like all the under probably like $60 minifigure of the entire winter and probably even, no, not summer wave, but we've gotten some really good characters there, but definitely the best. It looks to be like this character has had a lot of like effort put into this with a lot of detail and designing. It just looks absolutely crazy. Like look at the torso. They even went all out, added the creases in the back just looks great they even added like those little extra dots you see on the belt that's just crazy and i mean just look at all this waist to leg printing it's it's insane and the weapon it is really cool incredibly accurate like i guess if you want i'm not sure if you could i never tried it but let's see if he can hold it like the Tusken Raiders do in the movie and as you see in The Mandalorian Season 2. Because that's like the only time you see them. You don't see them in Star Wars Rebels or anything. Yeah, you can. Like where they go like this and they're just shouting for some reason. I guess that's how they communicate. But uh, coming along to the face, um, it is actually just a hard plastic thing, not like one of those rubber molds that we've seen before that they've done on some of these characters. Like, 
as you can see it does have a lot of detail put into this I am loving it though. I mean, coming along to the face, just the detail on this is insane. I'm just loving it. Well, now then onto the last, I guess you can call R2 a minifigure, I'm not sure. I call him an astromech. I don't count him as a minifigure, but you know, some people do. So let's just call him a minifigure. This is the R2D2 minifigure that you get. Uh, as you can see, it isn't as compatible as you know, most of my uh, minifigures are with this, uh, like, little contraption I built. Uh, they, like, the R2-D2 minifigure doesn't really change so much over the years. It just stays the same. They just do, like, a little bit of changes to the head and barely, if any, to the torso. Like, I barely noticed. Like, if I looked at the one from 2013 to the 2020, I noticed a difference. But if I looked at the one from 2018 to the one 2020, I would barely notice a difference. Like... I did notice that like some stuff on this one were bigger and some stuff were smaller on the other one. But other than that, you know, this R2 is just a basic R2-D2 that you get. Like, don't get me wrong, R2-D2 is a great minifigure. They've just been throwing around in so many sets that, you know, he's just losing his, I guess, well, he's already lost his rarity. But like, he's losing his coolness with the more sets that they put him in. It's, it was like the Senate Commando Troopers, they were cool and everything, and then when they came in the battle packs, you know, they lost their cool and rarity. Well, now then, enough about the minifigures stuff, let's get into the set itself. So, this is actually the entirety of Obi-Wan's hut. I'm actually not sure, like, which way is forward, like, is it here, or is it here, you know, you really can't tell with this thing. And, like, a lot of people have been thinking, can you connect this to the newly come out, like, Maz Isaac Cantina? I have done that. It has been built. You probably will see a set review on this tomorrow or in, like, two days come out. But, no, it cannot. I have tried. You can connect the other mini builds to it. it. They use, like, this type pieces, but they're much closer together. Like, you use these, except it would have to be, like, a little bit closer together for it to work. But other than that, you know, maybe if you can find a way to mod it where you can attach an Obi-Wan set, that would be cool. Like, try to, you know, if you can tell me how to do that, that would be great. And then I just put that in the set review for the uh, Miles Eisley. But now then, let's dive deeper into the hut. So I'm going to start out by opening up the hut. And, you know, it can just easily be open and closed very easily by, like, a bunch of Technic. And, like, this giant dome piece can, as you can see, it's connected by this Technic, which is really cool. You notice in the back left corner, you see the same weapon as the Tusken Raider, which I think is pretty nice. I think, like, the rarest, I guess you can call it, piece in this set is this, like, Princess Leia hologram type thing where she's saying... Most desperate oh, hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh. You're my only hope. So... And I do think the hut is actually pretty cool, though. There's a bunch of fun stuff and cool things about it. Like, you could see this here. Like, if you are to, if you ever saw, like, the video game trailer they made for Star Wars, like, you could have, like, Luke Skywalker drinking this. Like, it's the blue milk. And then you could, like, just customize your own with the blue milk lip. That would have been, like, a blue mustache type lip. I guess that could have been cool. Uh, coming on over to this side here. There's a bunch of fun stuff that you have. I'm not really sure what this is. I guess it's for design, but this crate can actually come off fairly easily because it's just connected by this and then it's, you know, not so that it doesn't lean, it's held up by this at the end. If you open it up, you can actually assemble a lightsaber and then you get like this head piece. So let's, let's just remove everything from the box. Oh, I guess the head piece, I have to jiggle around a little bit more and the lightsaber piece just doesn't want to come out. So I believe this is like what they use as like the training droid. This has like, like a very coolly and very well designed piece. And this is just, you know, regular lightsaber hilt. Uh, now then let's get into the left side of this hut. This is the left area of the hut, you can say. Like if you'd ever pay attention like the box or, yeah, or even the instructions, you can see like over here, like Luke Skywalker sits here, Obi-Wan Kenobi sits there. Then you have like R2 playing the projection over here. At the end of the review, I will show what it looks like. It is actually kind of hard to do. Uh, if I close this up, you will see like a little crate here. If I open it up, you will find literally nothing inside. It's just like a spare crate type thing that you get. 
pretty nice, I guess. Over here, you have like that little piece that you can attach the head to, and you attach the head to actually to that part. You flip that around, and let me just take it out. And then you'd end up putting this piece down over here. You attach the head on here, and then you have to hold Luke Skywalker for it to work, but it does, I guess, really work with the playability so well. Now then, let me get into the, like the frontal layer, I guess you can call it of the hut. So this is like the front area of the hut. Like you, if you were able to pay attention inside, you were able to see like this little like flame piece that's cooking this soup, which is basically like a pot with a couple like plates that they put in there, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not truly sure why they added like all these technic things. Maybe in 2021 in February, the sets that haven't been leaked yet, we'll probably have some probably some sort of attachment like this is sort of special attachment that goes along with the obi-wan's hut or like another luke land speeder type thing uh who knows probably like only Lego. and there's one thing that i did forget to show you with the other side is i'm pretty sure now that this is the front because i because they have like this little keypad type thing or maybe that's just to unlock the crate i really don't know and now let me show you what it looks like with the minifigures in as it shows on the box so this is what it basically looks like on the box. It is actually kind of hard because the way how you have to do R2-D2 in, in, in a sense interferes with Obi-Wan Kenobi. The way how I did it was I kind of like removed this piece and then I got Luke in, Obi-Wan, put this piece back in and then I did R2-D2 and epically failed because I shot out Obi-Wan and then it just took me a bit longer to get it. There is like no spot for you to really put his lightsaber so in a sense what i found out was when you close it oh you don't really have to close it but i use like this stuff one of like some of the stuff on the side here i dropped the lightsaber let's see if i can get it is uh I keep dropping it uh to in a sense just hold his lightsaber i guess you can call it that uh, and uh, yeah like where i normally put the tuscan raider i guess on display would be like right here like in a sense trying to make his way in or like guarding the house or hut so you know because then i can actually hold all the minifigures and everything and so this is going to be my set review for the obi-wan's hut i hope you leave a like and subscribe